Hello, my name is Mitch. Welcome back to the Voidbound Feed the Beast server. And today, I was just looking at all the different markers we've placed all around the world. We've got question mark, question mark, question mark, Shy Guy Squid, Spawn, DNH, all in that general direction. And I've been gathering up supplies and doing all the things. Give me a quick tour down here. I figured out how to open the mailbox. I still haven't done anything with this yet, but I did place it down. That was what was in the package that, um, Mr. Shy Guy Squid sent me. Oh. I see you out there. What are you doing? Stop it. I'm not going out there while you're there. So, what are we going to do today? Today we're going to do bees! Look at all the bees. Let's get rid of that. I was just looking at things. I've got bees, I've got tropical bees, I've got marshy bees, I've got rocky bees, I've got wintry bees, I've got meadows and forest bees, I've got all the bees, I've even got a valiant princess. I've been playing around with honeycombs and honey drops and wax capsules and these are junk. Well, they may not be junk, but I don't really need them at the moment. So, I'm going to show you what I've been working on here. This took forever. Here we have a squeezer. Which will put seed oil in one of those wax capsules once it goes over a thousand. And then we've got this carpenter block with water in it. And finally, we have a centrifuge where we can use this to squeeze the honeycombs and get various materials and things. So let me show you what this is. We've got this all wired up to, well, I guess I should start on the other side. This is all new to me, so somebody's probably watching this thinking, oh my gosh, you did that horribly wrong. And if that's the case, I probably did. But here we've got a generator set up. It'll just burn things and create energy. And from that, it gets wired over into this, which is a bat box, which will store the energy. And then from the energy that's stored here, it'll go into the electrical engine. And then from the electrical engine, it'll go into the squeezer. And I've done that on each one of these. Each one probably has different levels of power saved. As you can see, I've probably used this one the most, the squeezer. Because I was trying to collect all the seeds that I could to get seed oil. And, yeah. Oh, there's Fish's place off that way. So, what what, what are we going to do here? I'm finally getting started with bees. So I've set up a couple of chests up here for things we should make. Let's look in this one first. Let's gather this up. I don't want to forget the recipe, so let's just kind of gather it in order. And we got a chest here, and glass there. Alright, let's go make this. This will be a place for us to store our bees. Let's go over... Yep, crafting station. That'll be a special... I forget what it's called, but it's a special chest that you can put bees in. There you go. Apiarist chest. Now, where am I going to stick this? Um, hmm. Is that creeper still outside? Yeah, he's going a bit nuts out there. I did kind of want to stick bee things outside, but we I guess we could stick it somewhere else for now. We could go, let's see, that's kind of like one off from this way. Do, do, and then put it right here for now so anyway this is supposed to tell us various things about the bees and bees I want to say birds for some reason but there are no birds in Minecraft so I guess let's just go ahead and start sticking some of these meadows princesses and drones in there and see what happens is this supposed to be a better way to store them see this kind of gives question marks Still don't know really what I'm doing here. There we've got some more. We got... I don't know why these drones stack and these don't. Maybe we'll figure that out. What happens if we stick another species? Will it just go underneath that one or will it organize itself? I'll stick the forest ones in there. I was kind of waiting for you guys. Yeah, it's just going to go on the next level there. I guess if I want to organize, I'm going to have to do it myself. Like I said, all this bee stuff is new to me. Let's try just going like this. 
go do 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 and then do 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 aha apiary so now we've got four apiaries is that creeper still out there that creeper's gonna he's right, waiting right by the door i'm gonna go sneak attack him because i don't have a bow on me maybe we can just lure him away they had one already blow up the whole front facade of my house it was not fun I plan on doing a little bit more building out in this general direction. That's why that hole's there. And look at all the melons. I planted all these melons to get the seeds, because it seems to be the be best way to get seeds if you need seed oil. Now let's jump down here. Let's see if we can get this creeper to go away. Hey, come on. You're just stomping my crops. Come on. Follow me. No? You're going to end up getting me trapped, and then I'm going to blow something up. Can I just go over there and give you a love tap? Okay. Come on. You've almost figured it out. Follow me this way. Are you going to go this way? Hmm? Huh? You're just going to make me nervous, aren't you? And... There we go. Okay, he's he's a goner. I'm just stomping all my stuff over here. Stupid creeper. Okay, so <clears throat> originally, I'd made this bee house thing. But this is kind of like a basic starter kind of bee breeding thing. But these apiaries are supposed to be better. So let's go ahead and throw one of those down. Maybe we can go two away. Well, see, they look kind of different. And here you have these little slots for, um, I forget what they're called. Little slide things you can put in there, though, to make better bees and such. So let's go ahead and get this started before it gets too dark. We'll grab our bees. Let's grab a Meadows Queen and a Meadows Drone. Let's grab one of these since there's plenty of them. We'll get that rolling, and then we'll, we've got one more thing we gotta make. Hopefully, no more creepers sneak up on me. Okay, that's a queen. Okay, it's not daytime, so they're not gonna do anything right now. And why you no make? It's because I don't have ten. Did I put up the ten? Oh, this is. Frustrating as all get out. Okay. <laughs> I put the tin in the formula thing, but I didn't use it. There we go. Grim, give me that tin. I'm far from being a master on this whole feed the beast stuff. Okay, that'll make that. Put this here. There we go. Now it's making it. Very slowly. So there we go. Is that gonna... Do I need to turn it on? There we go. Now it's going up. It's not the fastest thing in the world. But with this, we'll be able to learn the different traits and all the various things about all the different bees. So I feel like we got a pretty good start to all this bee stuff. I've been going back and watching some of Generic Bee's uh, Bee Academy videos. If you want to learn more about bees yourself, that'd be a good place to start. That's where I've learned some of the basic stuff. And see, I put all these levers here so I can turn them on and off. I don't know if I explained that before. There's redstone right there that'll power or unpower the engine. So, now that we've got all that done, let's play with this. Okay, for this we need honey. And I think I've got honey in here. So to learn things about the bees, we're going to have to use honey. And from honey, we get from smashing the honeycombs in the centrifuge this is all kind of starting to come together now hopefully so let's grab um let's grab this little drone it's all by himself and then we'll right click on this put the drone in here and then we'll store this right here all right so that tells me some meadows species it's got a shorter lifespan, slow, 
production speed. Slow, he's just slow altogether. Flowers, fertility, times two. Territory, nine by six by nine. I don't know what that means. Effects, none. And if I put it down on one of these, it should tell me more stuff. Zero generations in captivity. It likes everything to be normal. And these are all the different traits. What's this? Possibly produces honeycombs. Then possible mutations. And classifications. For all you, the science people out there. So that's interesting. And I think I can keep the honey in there, yeah. So yeah, now if we shift over him, we see that he's got a shorter life, he's a slow worker, and he likes flowers. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now we can put him back in here. Now what about one of these guys? I want to try to scan him and see if he'll stack with the other ones now. Okay, shorter lifespan, slowest production speed, slow pollination, 9 by 6 by 9 territory. I wonder if that's the territory they'll go around the beehive? I don't know. Effects, none. Okay, that all looks normal. Okay, nothing new there. So now, hold shift. He's the slowest worker in a short... Shorter life. What was the other one? Was the slowest worker, shorter life. Okay, so that one won't stack with these anymore. But what's the difference between this one and this one? I don't really see anything in particular. He likes flowers. He likes flowers. Hmm. We got a lot of learning to do. It's going to be part of the fun. Oh, I want to go ahead and let's look at this Valiant Princess. Since this one's kind of special. See if we find out anything neat. Oh, see, she's got a long lifespan. Valiant, slow production speed, 9 by 6 by 9 territory. I need to look up what the territory thing means. Active, normal. Possible specialty, sugar. Huh, so she can make sugar. That and that. Okay. So if we hold shift on her, she's a slow worker, but she has a long lifespan. Oh, and is she nocturnal too? Oh, she is nocturnal, so she'll work at night. So that must be why they're special. They've got different traits that other ones don't have. I assume. So yeah, that's all pretty neat. We need to find a place to store more bee things around here. I guess I could fix this room up too sometime soon. Alright, now that we've got bees up and running, I want to make some frames. Oh, and I was right. I went and looked it up. Territory is the size of the area that they'll go look for flowers and do things for the bees. Let's check the window. Yeah, I went ahead and set some more up out there. But now, I need to make frames. So I think... I can go like this. Like that. There we go, we got... This will create an untreated frame. One, two... Two... Three. Let's just grab three of those. And then grab all this back. So if we have an untreated frame, I wonder what that does. I don't want to just look this up, but... me. Okay, we've got two Meadows drones. And one princess. Another Meadows drone. So let's stick these frames in here. It's an untreated frame. Now we need a queen. Well, let's get our bee analyzer and look at the princess first. Before we start this. Because then we might learn all about all these things. Actually, let's go to sleep first. Because it looked like it was getting dark. Do-do-do. Yep. 
Time to sleep. I don't know what I'll do in that general direction. Because right now I'm all about the bees. Bee, 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 bee. Okay. Alright, we have enough honey to look at a couple of these. Okay, she has a fertility times two. Shorter, slowest. I wonder how we breed these to be more efficient. That'll be my next thing to kind of figure out. Possibly produce. Nocturnal, no. Mutations, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's do that. And then the breeder will do this guy. Shorter, shorter, slowest. Normal, normal. Diurnal. Yes, I think that means they'll breed in the daytime, maybe? Okay, there's nothing special about him, and we're out of honey. So, let's go out here, fill this thing back up, and see what we can get. If we get anything better now that we've got frames in it. Okay, you're going to make... Oh, I shouldn't have put him in there. Okay, slowest worker... Shorter lifespan, likes flowers, and it's ignoble stock. I know that probably means something. So now we got to be in there. Now let's see if we get any more in that one in comparison to one of the others with the frame versus without the frame. So let's grab us another, let's see, I've got a queen here of pristine stock that one we don't know so I'm still probably gonna have to do some just random breeding just to get my honeycombs up so I can do a little bit more of this research stuff I'll just put that in there and now you're gonna do your business and you're already doing your business and the durability on these are already going down let's see do we have any more we can get set up I only really want to mess with the forest ones and the, well, I don't know, but because they're like the water ones and the ice ones, I think you need to have them in different biomes or different locations. And that Valiant Princess, I don't really want to mess with until I know what I'm doing. The Rocky Princesses, I think, need to be underground or maybe in caves. That's where I found them. Let's try to get a Forest Queen. And a forest drone going. And then we'll get this Meadows Princess. Meadows drone. And then another drone for her to mate with. Let's get production up and running here. Let's go grab this one. I'll put this in here. And I've searched far and wide for all the bees I could in the land. I've even looked in a couple of new locations in the map. But I didn't want to go venturing off too far because I didn't want, you know, to load a bunch of chunks that nobody's ever going to use. Let's see, we can stick one over here. Let's turn that one into a queen. She'll eat the drone or do something with it. Anyway, the drone dies, so it becomes a queen. And then we'll stick this one in here. Now we'll just play the waiting game to see what happens. How big of an influence those frames have. And I know there are other kinds of frames you can make. And with the extra bees mod, there are even more frames you can make. But I'm not going to get into all that right this second. We're just getting started. Let's chop down trees. I'm trying to gather some more of this wood too. So we can do a little bit more building and decorating type stuff. Which will probably be the next episode like to get some group stuff going on, too, if we could. Maybe we'll find out what that question mark, question mark, question mark is I marked over there. Eh? Eh? Okay, we got all that. I love this, um, whatever kind of axis is. You just knock the one down and everything falls. And these trees drop so many saplings. It's ridiculous. Sometimes they don't all despawn, though. The leaves, sometimes some kind of hang around. 
But there you go. Let's go ahead and gather up the rest of these saplings. Now, the good thing about these saplings is I can use these for fuel too in the generator. So if I just end up getting a whole buttload of them, they're useful in that way. Actually, let me go show you real quick. Since we're waiting on bee things anyway, and we're close to the end of today's episode. Let's go run over here. Is this one going to do anything yet? No, nope, not yet, and it's halfway used. Hmm. Maybe I have to do something else to the frames to get that to work. I'm not totally sure. Let's see, we'll go over here. See, like with those saplings. Then you hear that buzzing. That's making power. And then that'll be stored in these things. See, now the power level's going up. And also can put special armor in here too if they ever need to be charged. I don't know, when I build, I might try to build something around in this room next, make it look prettier. But I want to make sure I give myself access to these things. Like, can I reach it from, like, here? Yeah. So, I mean, I could even put, well, I don't know. I was going to have to take some playing around with different designs and things to figure out what I want to do. But see that? We're just making power out of that. Electrical engine's not doing anything. It's filling on up. It's very nice. I'm feeling, I'm feeling more and more at home with all this Feed the Beast stuff as we go along. Let's see. Still nothing? Hmm. Well, I think that's probably going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys again next time.